Hello everyone, my name is Asa Pettersson, I'm one of the co-founders of Studio Middle and one of the creators of Beast. And today, I have something very exciting to show you. It's a website me and my friend have been working on the last six months. And it's a website where you can create your own custom content for Beast. Let's get into it. So the custom content that you'll be creating are called Contracts, and Contracts act as scenarios in Beast. In the game, four contracts are included, but with our ever-growing community and with this website, we hope to have an endless repository of them. So head over to contracts.studiomiddle.com and you will be greeted by this website. But first, let me explain to you what a contract is. And a contract basically describes your next game of beasts. You have which map to play on, how many players you should be, you have a set of rules, and the end of contract, which is the winning conditions for both beasts and hunters. You can also have legendary rules, which completely override some mechanics in the game, or you can add completely new rules to it, making more fun and unique gameplay experience. And each contract comes with its own set of knights, which are like side quests that you can complete during the game. And finally, you have the final knight, and that is a contract for you. I just want to go ahead and show you some of the contracts we already have on the site. We have a solo contract by Vegetarian Kebab Pizza. We have a Beast vs Beast contract, usually you play Beast vs Hunters, but in this case two beasts will face against each other. We also have Infinite Knights. Usually a contract comes with a set number of knights, but in this case you will keep on playing until some conditions are fulfilled. And of course, we have multiple beast contracts. Usually, there is only one beast in play, but with these contracts, you will see multiple beasts in your game. And this is just the start of it. There will be more contracts coming along, and I can't wait to see all of your ideas. I will be opening up a contract by the Bad Witch called Hunt Forest Hunt. And to the left of the contract, you can see a toolbar. And the toolbar lets you interact with the contract in many different ways. For example, we have comments, where you can provide feedback to the creator of the contract. You can also like a contract, you can bookmark a contract for later use. A contract can come in many different versions and languages, and this button will let you switch between them. This contract is available in English and Spanish, but if the bad witch chooses to update his or her contract, then you can also switch between version 1 and version 2. We also have a Google Translate button that lets you translate the contract into any language that you would like to. You can download the contract, so you can print it and add it to your game box, or upload it to our TTS mod, and I will show you how to do that later. Of course, we also have a share button. It will give you a link directly to the contract, so you can easily share it with your friends or in our Discord. Scrolling through the site, you might have noticed some of the contract has flags on them and the flags represent which languages are available for that contract. Our partners are on this site and they will be able to provide translations for any contract that they would like. They have special functions and permissions to do this. So don't be surprised if you find another flag on your contract. I will now demonstrate how to create a contract. But before that, you have to create an account and sign in. And it's super easy to do that. Once you are signed in, you press this big yellow button that says create contract and you will be greeted by an empty contract. So we will fill out this contract together from top to bottom. And we do so by clicking on these fields. Whenever you click on a field, a dialog window will appear where you can enter a text. The window will also give you some tips and tricks on how to fill out that specific field. And we start out with a title. I've done some thinking ahead of time and I want to make a contract where you collect grudges. And so, I would like to call my contract Grudge Rush. Next up, we're gonna give the contract some lore. And we do this to kind of spice up the contract and give it a story, so that the players can get a deeper feeling of the thematicness of the contract. And with that, let me tell you a story. Since the great cleansing, the humans have been desperate for new powers and a way to retaliate. They started imitating the beast by killing and quickly devouring wild animals. They grow stronger, but now there's a rush from beasts and hunters to gain the most power of the Let's see who wins. And now, 
we're gonna select a map and now we'll be selecting Grand Slams. It's a smaller map with a more intense and aggressive feel to it. And it's also more suitable for two to three players. So I will be changing the player count to match that. Now it's time for the setup. Now I have an action packed contract in mind. So I want both the beasts and hunters to start out with some early resources. And so for the beast, I wanted to start with one grudge the Hatred and Rage piece of talents. Once I press confirm, you will see that the symbol appears. And you do this by writing parentheses, the symbol name and a value. You can find all the symbols by pressing the question mark icon and you will have a full list of all of them here. And likewise for the hunters, I want them to start with one random hunter item each. Next up we have the end of contract and the end of contract is how the game ends and the winning conditions for both beasts and hunters. And as I said earlier, I want this to be a rush to collect grudges. So for the beast, I want it to win when it has acquired 10 grudges. And likewise for the hunters, they will win when they have acquired 10 grudges split between them. And now I would like to add legendary rules, but how do I do that? Yes, by clicking this little hammer icon, I will get a new field where I can enter them. So just press it, and I can enter whatever I want here. But just to remember, for legendary rules, there are no rules. Just go absolutely crazy with it. For our legendary rules, hunters can now attack animals, and they gain the same amount of grudges as the beast does. The hunters have a common pool for all of their grudges. Damaging the beast makes the beast lose two grudges. And if a beast or summon damage any hunter, the hunters will lose two grudges. So they will always have to try and collect new grudges and try not to lose the ones they already have. And now it's time for the knight. And currently I only have one knight. But if I press this button, I will get more knights. I can add as many knights as I would like to and make this into an 8 hour long campaign contract. But that is not what we're going to do today. So today we will only have one night. And we start out with the beast condition. And I want it to have acquired 5 more grudges. And if it has done so, it may upgrade twice or free. Normally, buying upgrades cost grudges. But since the winning condition here is to collect Gradius, we don't want to have that setback. And likewise, for the Hunters, I want they to have collected 5 or more Gradius. And if they have done so, they may each get to upgrade once. And my thoughts with this is to create an incitement between the Beasts and Hunters to not only collect Gradius, but also try to damage the other team so they may not get their upgrades for free. And lastly, we have the final light. And the final light happens when neither of the teams have managed to fulfill their end of contract conditions. And so in this case, I want the team with the most grudges to win. And now our contract is almost complete, but we can spice it up a bit by adding a contract image. You do so by pressing this button and you will get a big variety of images from beasts to choose between. We will add more as we go, but right now we have a good collection of them. I will choose this image and now we can see that our contract looks a lot better already. And now we have our fully completed contract. We can press this button to save it. It does not publish it to the site, it only saves it so you can modify it more later or if you want to publish it to the site for the world to see. So I'm pressing it now. And now that we have created our contract, we can go to the My Contracts page, where we can see our unpublished contracts, we can see the published contracts, and we can also see the bookmarked contracts. And now I feel pretty happy with my contract, and I would like to publish it for the world to see. And to do so, I just press on it and we have a little 
cloud symbol that we just press and a little dialog will appear and we can select which category we want to publish this under. I feel that this is a short contract, so I will select that and then hit confirm. Our contract is now published for everyone to see and we can confirm this by going to home and scrolling down to short contracts and lo and behold there is Grudge Rush for everyone. I would now like to show you how you can download any contract on the site and either print it and add it to your game box or upload it to our tabletop simulator mod. So I will open Quad Rush, I will press this download contract button and in a few seconds we will get an image of it. We look at it and it looks good and then we boot up our tabletop simulator mod. Once you booted it you can press modding, cloud manager and press this folder button to upload a local file. I will select Grudge Rush, upload. Once uploaded, you can just press it and it will copy the link to clipboard. After this, you can just grab any of the contracts, uh, press clone and clone it, right click, custom and print in the copied link. Press import. And there you have it. That is the contract website and I am beyond excited to see what you will create there. Also feel free to check out the contact video created. It's live on the website and ready to be playtested. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.